love my <laughs> This is the ritual, huh? I want to dance! Okay, if you want to dance, we can dance. It just keeps going. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> Man, there's the one. First time <laughs> in a model team. Two speeds, high and low. We got a Model T here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I, lo I love the license plate too. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've been here. Greg, I was here. I bet you I've been to this place like five, ten years ago on a palm tour that was up here. Are you serious? Yeah. So Chris, our longtime sales guy up here in Minnesota, we've got Matt and we've got Mike, the two owners of Urban Landworks and Pond Company. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and I want to drive in a Model T. We're showcasing how people are living the aquascape lifestyle. So we got a pond or a pondless? The pond. This is a pond. And this is your insurance agent? Insurance Correct. agent, yeah. We didn't build the original pond. Only really? Over the time, we've done modifications. We also do all the service for the pond. Did he hire another client to build this pond? This was he built the original pond here, I think, before we were even doing water features. Wow. The original guy was Dave Elk. All right, let's go check out another beautiful aquascape water feature. Oh, look at this lake. So I love this. So he's got a pond on a lake yep. and people all of the time think, why would you want a water feature on a lake? Because you don't have koi swimming in your backyard when you're in that lake, but you have koi swimming in your water feature. Look at this. What a beautiful backyard. You're holding this. Okay. Okay, you know why? Yep, I got you here. Because I have a hard standing policy. Anytime I see a trampoline. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this is a good tramp. Nice. Uh -huh. I love my job. Oh. Oh. So, That's a workout. So yeah. Scott, Your turn? Really? Yeah. What are you going to let me have so, all the fun here, Matt? It's been a long time since I've been on one. Come on, young man. I don't need any folded knees. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right through it. <laughs> I don't want to throw up. <laughs> the son of your insurance agent is a magician. Yes, and he is on there the bill. Hey, I'm the pond guy, Greg. Hi, Good Scott. Nice to meet you. What's your son's name? Justin Flock. And he's on one of the America's Got Talent or something? Uh, he was on World's Best. He's been on Rachel Ray, Ellen. Really? It can actually pop one of those popcorn that kernels. That seems unsafe. We're going to put a video of Justin Flum doing some of his magic on there. And you're a magician, too. That is good, but if you get a cold, here's what you do. You just go... <laughs> I like this guy already. So this is nice. So you're their insurance agent, magician, and an aquascape pond owner. I love my pond. But you actually had the pond before you were working with them, huh? I did. Hey, who's this guy? This is Tucker. Hey, Tucker. He knows where we're going. Wow, this is gorgeous. Wow, it just keeps going. Yeah. I didn't know. Some nice fish. Hey, guys. Oh, here they come. This is how the ritual, you, huh? So, Scott, how long have you had this pond? I think nine years. Okay. I built it right before my son's wedding. So he got married right here. My other son got engaged right here just on Memorial Day. Oh wow, congratulations. One of the questions that I always have for people that live on water and then have a water feature, why? It's fantastic, because people all come and look, kids love it, they think you're in Disney World, so does Tuck, and they come down here and feed the fish, and just the sound of the water. Yeah, because even though you're right on the lake, yeah. it doesn't make a sound. It's like a waterfall. Mm -hmm. And plus, first thing when I get home from work, I get to come down here, tinker, move a plant around here or there, it's in water. I don't have to replant it, I just pull it out. Right, and put it right. In other places in the water. It's Drink. It's a great way of entertaining. Have a drink at the end of the day or a coffee in the morning. Yeah. And how's it been working with Urban Land Works? Fantastic. Why so? They helped me with all my plants and with the pump and all the fixtures and then my fish too. One good thing is I never have to touch my pond. It fills itself up every day by just turning on the irrigation system. It oh, okay. It from the tops lake. it off. It pulls it from the lake. Yeah, okay. and tops it off every day. So mm -hmm. I don't have to think, oh, is evaporating. In our family, it's a big thing that the kids do their shine. 
That's an acronym for your soul, your heart, your individual personality, natural talents and experiences all collect together and, and that's kind of who you are. When you're doing your shine, you're attracted to society because you're doing what God made you to do. Amen. And so early on, he knew his shine. At age five, he put down that he wanted to be the next David Copperfield. We sent him off to be with a lot of magicians to kind of shadow him. So you really supported him from an early age. We did. He just said, I'm burning the ships, Dad, so this is what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to die on the street making nothing. Sure. He did this magic trick called Soldier's Deck and it went viral early on and then Ellen picked it up. You see this deck of cards may seem ordinary to you but it acts as my Bible. The ace reminds me that there is only one God and the two is the two halves of the Bible. The three that's the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Oh, Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. She's got a koi pond. Put a link to Ellen DeGeneres' koi pond. She said it's her favorite thing. And she calls Justin her favorite magician. Hey, amen. <laughs> so when did he really start getting paid for his gigs and start, you know, did he go to college or did he go right Never to the... Never to college. Yep. Because... Didn't need to. He had his shine. Yep. He'd be sitting there in a history class thinking, what am I doing here? I'm a magician. So I used to sit in history class and go, what am I doing here? It's already happened. I want to make history. <laughs> I got my shine early on too. Drove my mom and dad nuts, but I got my shine. All right, so this is kind of your gig here, huh? Let me see the inside of that thing. So they don't know it's remote when I do it. Does that look better? No difference. <laughs> here we are. Where are we? Where am I the pond? The pond. I, I make this stuff. You do. Well, you've done a good job. Should we go? No, wait. What? I haven't done my dance yet. You, do, you have a dance? Yeah, I got a dance. You're a good dancer. <laughs> You, you don't have to do your dance. I really want to. It's kind of embarrassing. No, I want to dance. Okay, if you want to dance, we can dance. Okay, you need some music. Here I go. Here's my move. Michael Jackson's got nothing on me. Very good. That's, well, that's about it. <laughs> I love my job. I get to be a dummy. No. I, I love my job. <laughs> How do I look? Yep, really good. I get to work landscape. You, you're working landscape? Yep. You want to see my dance? Yeah, this. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> There's the horn. Woo! This is Tucker, and we are driving around Minnesota in a 1925 Model T. My first time ever. The horn? <laughs> that bad. Two speeds, high and low. I put every nut and bolt together. And... What a beautiful machine, and he's had it for 32 years. That is style. He said everybody waves to a guy in a Model T. Well, this is one stop that I am never going to forget. You know what? Why not have a little bit of fun when you're working? And you know, this is work for me, but it really isn't work for me. I mean, getting out and seeing beautiful aquascape water features, meeting cool people, and uh, we have a mutual friend in common, and we actually, this is so crazy, I've actually met him once before. I had no idea. I had no idea his son was a famous magician. I want to get more people just loving their job, whatever they do, because life is too short. So not only is he on a billboard, we're going to his house right now, huh? This is your customer, Steve? Yep. And he's got a pondless water feature that you built? He has two, a couple of pondless water. Oh, okay. And he's on all of the billboards around Minneapolis, huh? Oh, quite a few, yeah. <laughs> so this is literally a house at the end of the street. Oh, of course, the first thing that you see is a water feature. Wow. It keeps going. Both sides. Wow. What a rotunda. Another one, too. Keep going. What? Keep going. Oh, my gosh. This is my kind of guy. If I ever have a personal injury, Steve, I'm calling you. Hopefully I don't have to call you. What did we do here, boys? How long ago did you build oh, this? Yeah. This got put in last fall, late late last fall. Yep. Okay. So, what was here before? It was a flat piece of land. It had some crab apple trees around the outer ring and some hostas in the middle, and that was it. People use this as a turnaround at the end of a cul-de-sac or end of a street, so it's not. It's a residential house. The client asked us to do something at the entrance without having to put a big gate up. So we came up with this design with the basalt columns and then actually inlaying the pavers into the asphalt to make it appear like, hey, this isn't a street anymore. That kind of led us to the Center Island. We actually talked about the Center Island for a couple years before we did it. We just said it just didn't do justice to the house, right? The house is beautifully done. 
on Thunder Island just wasn't there. It's the first thing that you see when you come in. Pine already has a water feature in the backyard, so they love water. So we incorporated it in the front, brought in the same trap boulders that we did in the back. There's about 35 tons of, of trap boulders here. The system itself has three separate pondless basins. The goal was to get a 360 view from anywhere you were in this kind of cul-de-sac or in this circle for the water features. And then we wanted to create a little bit more height without creating this gigantic volcano. So we did that by getting the salt column core drilled to add that height that we needed. When we first came in, there was a lot of challenges. We did this in the fall. It was just wet. It didn't stop raining. Conditions were, were terrible that we had to work in. But we really had to just elevate the whole center of this area. And the overall cost just came in just under about 50 grand. We have five pumps in the system. There's two 10,000 gallon per hour pumps running this side, the house side, and then the entrance side. And then we have two pumps running, one pump running these two basalt columns. And then there's another pump in the front basin running the front one. And then there's just a 9PL on the north side waterfall. Hey, introduce us to Adam. I met you last night, young man. So Adam is one of your guys that works with a lot of the water he features, huh? our operations manager for the landscape division. We did a lot of other work in the backyard first and around the property first. Just retaining wall work or? You'll see. Oh, oh there's, there's more? Another. There's more? Cow. I like this guy, Steve. Wow, is that gorgeous. Oh my, and it keeps going. Awesome fire pit, unbelievable waterfalls. And look at this view up here. I'm glad this is a friendly dog. Hey pup. You're right, it keeps oh, going. Right. So when did you guys build this one? So we didn't build this one. Oh, okay. We built the front one. Okay, so he just happened to already have an aqua ski water. Well, you said you yep. did a lot of work back here, so what'd you do? Yeah, we did everything else. There was the water feature, the pool, the pool decking, and nothing else, just dirt, when the house was originally built. Another company came in and originally did this water feature. We made a few modifications to it just to make it easier to manage. Was it an aquascape system? It is an aquascape system. All right. Wow, we are up on a major hillside here. Hey, I see my hammock right there, right behind you, Mike. Not a bad pad. You got the Aquascape snorkels. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. That's a fill valve. Yep. We got uh, the ion gen system, and that's it. Yes. It's just the tank underneath here is quite large. It's probably all the aqua blocks. It goes all the way into this area. So. Wow. You know, just when I thought I've seen it all, there's more to see. The front property here is just spectacular, and even the backyard is equally as incredible. I love to showcase how people live the Aquascape lifestyle. No two water features are exactly alike. Each one is a unique work of art, one-of-a-kind custom creation. And you know what? You want to set yourself off from the neighbors, put something like this in your front yard, and there's nobody that's going to duplicate it. I love my job, and I want to help you, too, live the Aquascape lifestyle. So like, comment, subscribe, and follow along as we visit cool places with awesome people. I love my job.